Hello, I'm Lorna Richardson. I'm the Archaeology Outreach Officer for the Thames Discovery Programme. Um, this video is going to look at the work we did for the Foreshore Recording and Observation Group training at Custom House, and you'll hear from some of our supervisors. So we're busy recording some timber revetments down here. We've got some east to west revetting timbers that are supported by upright piles. And behind me you can see people planning them to scale at 1 to 20. And then we're going to write timber sheets and we're going to record them fully. That is quite an early one actually. So they're like uh, the uh, 18th century cigarettes. <laughs> what we've got here is a 19th century thing called a gridiron. This is probably related to the um, 1819 River Wall of Custom House, the final construction of Custom House. Um, and this would be for to sit Custom House launches on. When the tides come up, the, t uh, the launches would be right at the top of the river wall. And um, as the tides go down, they'd sit on this, this um, timber bed. And the idea is we plan it, record it, and photograph it. And then we can see how changes in tidal regime are actually affecting its survival. We're recording a couple of features here which are to do with access down onto the foreshore. We've got this concrete thing, um, a concrete causeway, which runs from the steps behind me down onto the shore. Um, probably a very kind of informal structure, just quickly laid down to give quick and easy access to the foreshore. Um, and the people over there, way behind me, are recording the 1819 River Wall, which um, encompasses this bit of custom house. Behind us, you can see we've got a uh, vessel that's been abandoned on the foreshore. And at the moment, uh, Gus is showing the, the volunteers how to record it. Um, we've cleaned it up. We're now uh, going to draw a plan of it and record it on a vessel sheet. Uh, it looks to be a probable 20th century wooden boat which had an engine fitted. Uh, it's come to the end of its life, they've taken the engine and the propeller away and they've abandoned it on the foreshore. And uh, so it sits slowly degraded year after year. If you're interested in becoming a foreshore recording and observation group member, do have a look at the events page on our website www.thamesdiscovery.org.